hello this is Ni Hamudan welcome to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial we're going to continue from the um, part the other part part one where I talked about eating tricks in pixel lab now let's go the first trick is we're going to be doing in this part two is this we're going to create a a curve um, background okay a customized curve background how do you do that very simple all right so I'm going to I'm going to Right, let's begin with black and white. Go over here. Click the base here too. It will give you a curve. Okay. Now you can add to the curve. Now, let's even remove this one. So click the base here too. Okay. It's going to give you a curve. Very perfect. Now go to let's be the color visible something we can see all right let's let's use white for example then um, we're gonna go over here increase let's let's turn this okay and let's let's try to move let's try to move this right. and let's Now one, okay. It's now one, which is this. I say that it's one. I used to feel everything, but you can do it like this. So just do it like this. How you can create your curve in background this is number one as um trick number one okay the next to the next okay i'm going to show you other ways by which you can remove you can blend your image with the background i've explained that in one video before but i'm going to explain it in another video and one additional way to do that so i go to photo room I'm going to look at. Um, let me use um, somebody's picture. Okay, let me use this picture right here. Sorry, that the in our 
so this is it right now look at the image you see that the the edge the edge right here is very very sharp okay all right so but this is a black background so you can easily go over here go over here and then click on erase eraser okay and then we increase this blur effect here this one here we increase this also all right and then we'll go over here and just remove the edge there okay and then also this guy here all right and then we'll save It's not working the way uh, it's supposed to work because of the color. So because the picture doesn't it doesn't have a very um, it doesn't have one color. So let me show you exactly what I'm trying to say. This is the color that is pre predominant in the shirt. So it's not supposed to blend with the color you can see. It's no longer no longer sharp as it was because if you look at the edges here, it's not blending. Are you saying it? It's not blending with the the church very well so it's no longer as sharp as it was even this right here you see that it's not blending all right you see the blend you can see it's not blending with the church but this will work very well when you have a very um just a one color shirt you can see how it blends all right that's one way another way to do that is let's go back let's go back and um, restore this let's restore I just go back like this. Right, another way to do it is this. Um, go to chip, right? Enable it. Go to color. Choose a black and a white gradient. So go together. Choose a white and a black. Which is this one here. Okay, okay. Alright, make sure that it's black and white. So click here. Make sure that here is white. White. Mm -hmm. Copy it, come back to release information, put them together, and then mesh them together here. Alright, and then match. And after you mesh them together, go over to US color, enable increase tolerance. Okay, now this color right here, this one right here, change the color to the color of the background you want it to blend with, the image to blend with. So for, for, for this design, it's going to be black. Alright, so you can see. See that this image has successfully blended with this background. Are you seeing it? Right, so that is another trick, right? In Pixel Lab, and one other trick is this: how you can actually work on this image, all right? Work on this image to flip it. So instead of flipping it, just go back to crop, and then you can flip it here. So if if you don't want the image, for example, to fix this other way you can make it face other way that means this is going to come over here okay and you're going to turn it like this okay so that's another trick altogether then one other trick is how you can actually edit pictures so this picture right here the background is this assuming this is background okay and this is the color that we are going to be using color is not this okay this I send this now I want this image to have a feel on the background so I'll come over here I'll go to color filter right now you have to adjust the you okay see watch energy to the, to the um, design to the picture you can see okay so 
you can actually do a little photo edit here this color filters it helps you to work on the colors right so let me show you something more profound so i'll get one image right now let me look for an image that's okay let's say this okay let's say this image right here okay this image right here let me remove all these guys okay, this image right here okay right so as me use the image and and this background right here is what we want this image to have a feel of so go over here and try to adjust the image to get Profound background like uh, um, okay, this is this color, right? Then the image, <coughs> the image right here. We can go to color features and then begin to edit the color until it suits, right? Suit the the background. Then we can come here and do some little touch. You can see. So whereas the image, the, the original image, the color was um, uh, red, but now it's having an effect so that it blends well with the background. Because one thing about your designs is that you should have a reflection on the background. Most of your design, there's, there's an effect if the background is, is more of um, more of brown everywhere. Okay, if the theme, the main color in, in the, your background is brown. It's, it's good to have a little touch of that brand in your image as you can see here this image is already having a touch of purple on the face all right and this is nice it helps your, 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 your picture and your, your background to blend and this is another trick in pixel art okay 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 so that the video will not be too long let me show you something else now for example you mistakenly close your pixel app okay and or something happened to your phone and then you were not able to save the project you were working on before just like this project right now i didn't save it now you can go over here and then remove pixel lab and then go back again now it's going to ask me an auto save of your last session is available do you want to recover it yeah the normal thing to press is okay so that you get the design back again remember i didn't save it so but it was able to recover it so this is one way to recover it but assuming that i did not save it like this and then probably i click cancel by mistake does it mean that i've totally lost the work yes it means it means you totally lost the work but it means that you can you can also recover it if you know this now this is it go over to this uh, option here the menu click on recover auto save and then look at the date very well as you can see the date here i have uh, june June 18th, um, 3, 3, 24, 3, 24, 24 a.m. That, that is the latest one. Click on this and it's going to get that image back for you. Are you seeing it? So, assuming you didn't click um, recover auto save right here, that appear here, that pop up when you open the pixel app, probably you mistakenly click cancel. You can come over here and you can recover it from here. So, you can easily recover it from here. I have some files here. You can see them. Look at the one I was working on before. Right, we can recover them from here, which, which is very, very powerful. And the last thing that we're going to be doing in this um, um, part is how you can create um, your no, I'll do that in another video. How you can create your, your custom screenshot design. Okay, let's say you go over to okay, let's go, let's go. Let's say you go over to your Twitter account and then or your Facebook or your Instagram and then you take a snapshot and you want to create a, a very beautiful something out of it so I go to, I go to um, Twitter and then I check on any image I'm gonna be just have a screenshot of it and um, show you what I'm, what I'm talking about so let me take a quote click on it there I click on a quote like this okay okay so click on a quote like this and um, it's quite big, but let's let's, let's go. So, so I have a screenshot of it. I would I would prefer if it is white. So let me quickly change the team to be white. Okay, let me quickly change the team to be white because of what I want to do. So I go to I go to settings. 
settings and I'll go to um, where are you, where are you, where are you? Oh god, I can't find this setting now. Okay, for the purpose of to save time, so I'm going back to. Yeah, I'm going back to. Let me just use Instagram. So I just want this. Alright, it's the same thing actually. Let's just try. So this is a screenshot, okay? This is a screenshot. And then uh, we'll go back to Pizza Lab and then we'll do a little work. So bring in a screenshot, okay? Screenshot. I wanted a, I wanted a white a white um, uh, team. So this is a screenshot and then maybe I cut it from here. I cut it from here. Okay, so this is right. So since this is black, okay, since this is black, I'm going to be working with another color. So I'm going to be working with white. Okay, or something else. So I'm working with this. And I can work even with the color that I have here. I'll go over here and then I'll pick the color from here. Alright, I'll pick the color from here. Okay, so stuff like this actually. Then you can, if you want to make the edges curve, then you have to bring in another shape. Okay, you have to bring in another shape like this. Then, like this. And then you make it curve. Uh, after you've done that, then you centralize it centralize it okay centralize it and then you can remove this guy okay? bring this to the center okay and then go over to texture and add that um, screenshot you just did i prefer a white actually but then let me just go and then do it like this do it like this and um, bam you can see it has given you that beautiful line to edge that you wanted and this is very very nice Okay. Very, very nice. Then you can go ahead and put your, your name here, whatever it is. Okay. Put the name there. Okay, this is how you can create your own custom custom quotes. Screenshot quotes, okay? 17 minutes. Um I think in the next part we'll do mock-ups, right? I and I don't want this video to be more than this. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would um want more please subscribe and then like this video and drop me a comment tell me something that you learned and some, tell me something that you would like to learn in the next part thank you so much for watching and um, i'll see you